Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Inside Spurs Show. Happy Friday morning. Hope you're all okay. Hope you're right. I hope the day is going to treat you well. And obviously, looking forward to a good weekend coming. And obviously, Spurs playing this weekend, Sunday afternoon, away to Brighton. Obviously, the preview should be out later today. Um, sometimes it's best just to wait till we see what Ange says about injuries and things like that. Because I've seen some stuff about Human Son, you know, about international duty. Sometimes just wait for the, the wait for the guy to speak himself in Ange and see what he says around Son. Obviously with Destiny as well. So I'm going to wait for that. So the preview will be out later today. Obviously, I did do a preview with Seagull Social uh, on Wednesday. Uh, I think it came out yesterday. Yeah, I did it Wednesday. It came out yesterday. I did it in a community post. Go to my community post. You'll see the link. Go and have a watch of it and let the boys know what you think. Anyway, talking about this one, I want to talk about Mikey Moore. And I want to talk about Mikey Moore because of the game that he played yesterday, the things that I saw, the, the quotes that have come out around him and the praise that's come out around him. I want to talk about Mikey and what a player that we have there. Just want to say, if you're watching this and you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. And yes, let's talk about the game that he played yesterday. And Mikey was fantastic yesterday. He really, really was. Um, I thought there were so many, so many good things that came out yesterday of Mikey and, and, and how fantastic he was. You know, I talk about how we had, you know, Mikey playing right wing, you had Will Lancashire playing in a striker, you had Bergvall and Saar in the midfield. I mean, Archie Gray played centre back slash left back last last night. Obviously, he is a right back slash centre mid. That's that's the positions he's playing in two positions that aren't really his uh, positions, which is really exciting because as much as people go, you know, we don't want him to become just a utility player. He's also nineteen. He's had one season of actual top flight football. I'd rather him play than not play. So if it meant him playing at left back and he was getting minutes over him sitting on the bench and getting 20 minutes, I'd rather him just play. And this season, you know, with Destiny missing time and, you know, Poro needing to rotate, you know, he, he's going to get good solid minutes, Archie. So I'm not worried about him at all. But on Mikey, I was really impressed with Mikey's performance. I thought, I, I talked about in the review that I did last night, if you missed it, go back, watch it. I talked about how direct he was when he got the ball. He got the ball and just wanted to run, run at the defender, run at the fullback, be it on the left or the right. You know, probably could have had a couple of assists. I mean, his probing pass led to Sar's first goal. Obviously, I know he, he played that ball on the counter to Timo, who unfortunately missed the shot. It's not, it's not a video around Timo, so I'm not going to be talking about him. But the amount of times his link-up play was quite solid. And the fact, he's 17. He's he's 17. And I think we need to, as Spurs fans, recognise that. I think we go, play him, get him all the minutes in the world, play him 90 minutes, play him 120 minutes. Do you know what? Play him 90 minutes and then make him play 90 minutes on his own. Just give him all the minutes that he needs. It's like, he's 17. He's 17. Let's not, let's not, let's not rush this. Let, let's embrace what his, his, um, his youth and his ability, but temper it and bring him along slowly. That's the best way to do it. You know, Ange, uh, Ange talked about Mikey and saying how many 17-year-olds are playing in top leagues. Yeah, Lamin, he's talking about Lamin Yamal, is brilliant, but it's not a common thing. It's rare. If you look at the Premier League, how many? Mikey Moore is contributing, which shows that he's got something special. And he does. He has something special. Um, I, 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 look, I, I'm, I'm super excited by his future. I mean, I talked about how I'm excited by you know, Moore and Lancashire and, and, and Bergvall Saar and Gray and their futures, you know, you factor in Destiny Adogies and, and the, the Mickey van der Vens, you know, these guys, these guys are still so young. They're still developing. They're still becoming the players that we hope they will become. With Mikey, I was super excited because you've seen it at such a young age that if he continues his trajectory, he's going to be a top winger in the space of a few years. And I mean, top winger, in world football. I genuinely believe that. Uh, and went on to also say that his ability to deal with pressure and keep the ball in really tight areas and make really good, clean decisions for such a young boy. It's not easy out there when defenders fly in and he took one within the first 30 seconds, but he drives on. He's got so much growth and he wants to learn. I couldn't be happy with him and I'm very pleased that he's part of our football club. You know, Ange doesn't play youth, by the way. He doesn't play youth. Anyone that says that, shut up, doors over there, get out, you're an idiot. But he... I think he, Andrew's, you know, as much as he's hyping him up, saying all the things that we would like to hear, I think Andrew's also saying, but pause, hold up, he's 17. Let's not overdo it. Let's not put too much pressure on him. The amount of times 
us in the English, well, I say us in the English media, like I've done it before, but the English media over these players. There'll be, there'll be journalists talking about how Mikey Moore should be in the England squad. They, I guarantee there is, because that's what we do in England. We overdo it straight off the bat. So how, how about we let this one breathe? We let him develop the way he wants to develop and how he should develop. Bring him along at a nice, reasonable pace. Now, this weekend, obviously Brighton away, there's a situation where Son may not be fit. And look, Solanke's playing up front and Johnson's out on the right. Those two you expect to be starting, don't you? Now, Spurs have obviously a situation on their hands on the left wing. Do they play Timo or do they play Mikey? Now, Timo came off early against, uh, sorry, last night. Mikey obviously stayed on. Mikey obviously then moved over to the left wing whilst Johnson went over to the right. And obviously Johnson scored the winner. Does Mikey play on Sunday? Now, is it too much too soon? Do the young legs not matter? And I'm just saying, with, with with the opportunity that Son may not play, or if he does play, he might be a bench player, who would be starting? Now, obviously, I'll be talking about it in the preview for the Brighton game a little bit later today, talking about what I think about that left-wing position. Obviously, hopefully, I will... Well, I say I, you and I, you watching this, yeah, you. Oh, you, yeah, that's it. Know what you're up to. We will know if Son can play. We'll know obviously Destiny can play and we'll, we'll know if there's any injuries that c- came from last night and, and what that might mean. But I'm so excited by Mikey. I, I think, you know, he's such a, such an exciting player. We, we should really, we should be really excited by his future. But all I would say is just bring yourself back a little bit. Realise that he's 17. Realise that he's about 10 years away from being a finished article. And that's what the exciting thing is. By the time he reaches my age, and I'm, I'm 28, by the time he reaches my age, he, he will become more of a finished article. The fact he's 17 right now, you know, he, he can beat players off the dribble, he can pick a pass, his close control dribbling, his close, his close to the, the body dribbling is fantastic. You sort of, like Anne said, he got absolutely clattered so early on in the game, and that's because he could shift it with his feet quite quickly. We, um, we've got an exciting player there. I'm interested to see... Because obviously now he's had his first proper minutes, right? That that I think the the odd sort of five, ten, fifteen minutes has been nice. You see, you know, little flashes, but you don't see, you don't see everything. But the fact he played such a large chunk of minutes yesterday, the coaches and Ange obviously would have had all the time to kind of now look at him in person with their eyes, look at the the the, the, the game film, and kind of go actually. There's a player there. And the fact he can play both right and left is quite nice for us. Obviously, I know he's more of a left. That's where he had most of his success. But the fact he can do it on the right, that's a beautiful thing. So I'm interested to see what happens with Mike. I just want to talk, do this video just really highlighting how exciting the player is and how excellent the player is. And, and I think we need to we need to obviously get on board with this early doors, but don't ask the the Mikey Moore hype train to go too fast. Just enjoy the ride. Anyway, guys, then if you don't hope you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. If you did, hit me in the comment section down below your thoughts and feelings about Mikey, about even the other youngsters. If you want to hit me up with that sort of situation, obviously we'll talk about will he start and will he feature a little bit later today on the preview. Just to say, if you're watching this, obviously you know subscribe and obviously hit the notification for more. But anyway, guys, in the video, I'll see you all very very soon. Take care, guys.